There are many economic indicators which are closely related with our daily life, and the lipstick effect is one of them. The lipstick effect indicates the fact that when an economic recession or crisis is expected, due to less income, consumers will be more willing to buy less costly luxury goods instead of those expensive ones. For example, after the 9-11 attacks on the United States, Leonardo Lauder, the president of the Estee Lauder Group, compared lipstick sales with previous years and had a conclusion that the sales of lipstick from his company rose greatly after the terrorist attacks. Similar to the cosmetics market, other types of products, such as cheap beers or electrical appliances will also have the same effect as lipsticks. In the case of an economic downturn, people still have a strong desire to consume, but they don't have adequate money to do that or they are not willing to spend a lot of money to do that considering the financial uncertainty ahead. The economic recession will reduce the income of lots of people, which makes it difficult for them to save money to do some big things, such as buying a property or a car or traveling around. Instead, they will buy goods that have less impact on their available funds. So, some small and cheaper alternatives like lipsticks will become more popular during the economic recession. Those kinds of things will become a placebo when people want to buy things but don't have enough money to do so. Although the lipstick effect is not a scientifically proven concept in economics, it can successfully explain the consumer patterns in history when there is an economic crisis such as the Great Depression, the economic crisis during World War II, and the financial crisis in 2008. However, the recent COVID pandemic seems to be an exception for this theory. During the pandemic, the sales of lipstick and other beauty products were not boosted like we expected before. What is the reason behind the scenes? The main secret is that those restrictions during the pandemic such as lockdown, self-quarantine, and social distancing policies reduce people's passions to do makeup every day. Also, the implementation of those new working styles such as working from home and remote working pattern additionally decrease people's needs for those beauty products. In comparison with cosmetic products like lipsticks, people are tending to buy more skincare products to keep their personal wellness in a more flexible working and lifestyle. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.